good evening. This is um, Sue. And once again, I just want to address an issue that happened in my hometown, a horrible issue. Now, anybody that watches any of my videos is aware that I have done fa fire safety before. And I do appreciate that I was able to find on the internet a video with a timeline of when this horrific fire happened. Now, you can see that in a matter of minutes, it went from a peaceful little house in a small New England town to a blazing inferno, resulting in the death of a couple of pets and a woman who was disabled and in her 60s. There's no way to explain except for the horror. This will include a video with the lady that survived by going out the front door and rolling down the stairs and her interview and the aftermath. Please be aware how fast fire can spread. Make sure your fire uh, detectors are working. Thank you. This video is for educational purposes only. I want everybody to note that the time on the clock is 11.08.2022, 4 4.41.02, 4 02 seconds in Norris Falls, Massachusetts. As you can see, it's a large greenhouse with um, and there's the beginnings of a fire. Um, it's there's cars going by. There's people upstairs, and, as you can see, and the fire is going. Several cars go by. It's amazing. It's not a very large town, but it's still pretty well you know, traveled. It's 4.42 now. This is how it, fast it's spreading. It's been a minute, and it's starting to get a little bit more noticeable. Still cars are going by, and they're not noticing it. They're just not acknowledging the fire at all. However, at this point, because I know where it is, it's standing out pretty good. Now it's been a minute and a half later and nearly the entire front and right door window is completely covered in flames. There's still cars going by not acknowledging it. There's a truck. These are local. It is now spread to the second window on the first floor, and there are a lot of smoke. And it has now been less than two minutes. At the two minute mark, the smoke is very noticeable. I mean, you, you're not gonna notice it. And now the flames have broken, actually broken out into you know, the outside of the home into the side. And I can't believe it, cars are still going by. Now the smoke alarm is going off, which I don't know why it wasn't going off at this point. It's now been two and a half minutes and the flames are definitely outside of the home, on the side, and a UPS driver goes by and pulls over. I'm sure that he's by this point going. Now it's been both windows and it's going up to the second floor. And it's also billing her out to the side. Now this is at three minutes. This is, you've got three minutes. The guy from the UPS is, he's running and they're yelling, you know, fire, fire, get out, get out, fire. Don't, you know, your house is on fire. More trucks are coming. 
It's now been four minutes, and this entire um, side of the house is now in flames. People are yelling, calling 911. Anybody in there? There. And they yell, get out, get out, fire. Now this is, now part of the structure is becoming very involved. And yell and get out of the house. It is now five minutes, and there's still people in it. And look, it's spread to the. And there goes somebody falling out the front door. They, they, somebody fell out the front door and down the stairs. They escaped safely. They're yelling. It's been five minutes. Look at this. Six minutes. And, Still, the fire department hasn't gotten there. They didn't get a call until 4.45. It's only been a minute. And the Turner's Falls Fire Department is at least or four miles away. Look at the house. The lady's yelling, Mom. I just want to let you know that this has only been six minutes, six minutes from a peaceful home to this. The fire department had two minutes to get there. We're a small town, little town. They're still yelling. All these people are outside and they're trying to save what they can, but there's nothing they can do. This is seven minutes. Seven minutes. Other than I really miss her, and she was just like, like I told you, she was the best person in the world. And now we got a long road ahead of us. Tina Vershot tells Western Mass News she was in her home in Miller's Falls with her 66 year old mother, Judith Vershot, when a two alarm fire broke out and sat. Oh, this is sad. Oh, this is just. Breaks my heart. This is left. People's belongings just left for them.